Hello, what is going on guys? So, uh, it is actually really late right now. It's like 2 a.m. I thought I would just record this quick behind the scenes so that I could get it out. But anyways, right now I thought I would just give you guys a quick, you know, kind of unscripted flyby of the Yardfall, uh, Yardfall Village, I gotta say it with the right pronunciation, set uh, of uh, Quest for Adventure. Uh, I can't show you what's behind me or the camera. There's an NPC walking over there. So I'm gonna sneak in. There we go. Okay. You guys, you, I'm, I'll, I'll give you a little sneak. Little sneak. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. Anyways, uh, this is the the inset. Uh, the builder that made this uh, Quasimodo. He's an amazing builder. He basically milled, built uh, like 75% of the series. 80%, 90%. Anyways, he's amazing builder. Fantastic builder. And uh, I basically just told him we needed like an inn for episode 3. Yes, 3. And uh, he just kind of went to town with it. There's a lot of stuff down here. Whoa. Praise the death god. I... That's a little hardcore for me. But uh, as you can see, he basically adds this detail that you don't really see uh, on camera. But uh, it's definitely there, which I really love. You know, it it, it, it makes everything, you know, feel, feel more alive. And, and I just really like it. Uh, there's a chimney over here. Got some meat over here. It's 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 fantastic. And uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much the set. Um, this is where the two Haldric and Vilgor, or no, not Vilgor, the other character I forgot his name. I wrote the series and I forgot his name. Wow, amazing. But uh, this is where the two uh, you know drink milk. The other guy explodes. Spoilers. You've probably already seen the episode. But uh, yeah, this is the the famous wall. You know the wall debut. Uh, fantastic wall. You know beautiful wall. And, uh, another thing the builder Quasimodo did was add water. Hopefully, oh, I'm gonna drain the set. But he added water up on the roof, so it kind of gives this, like, moist, kind of icky, creepy in feel or vibe. And I really, really dig it, how it looks on camera. You don't really notice it too much when it's being filmed, but, uh, definitely, like, from this angle, you can definitely just see all the, the water dripping down, which I absolutely love. Um... But yeah, I mean, that's the inn, uh, or the uh, the tavern. I really like the set. The outside, too, is just beautiful. It's, it's nice, it's, it's nice and quaint. It's, it's beautiful, I love it. Uh, and this village, you don't really see a lot of it in episode three. Uh, so, I mean, that's that's about it. It's, it's a pretty small village. I can't, I'm trying to avoid, so you guys can't see what's behind. Also, there's a spoiler behind there. But uh, yeah, I'm just teasing you guys teasing you all over with these spoilers. But yeah, I mean, that's the set. It's it's a pretty simple village, you know, I just wanted, like, this village that's kind of in poverty. Like, you could kind of see, like, you know, there's kinks in their roofs and stuff, compared to the Valgar Kingdom, which is uh, a lot nicer, a lot, uh, you know, just, just a lot better. And that was kind of the contrast I liked in the series, where these, you don't really know a lot about these people. They could be villagers, they could just be, you know, nice people, but the Vikings, uh, their, you know, hometown is so beautiful, and there's roaring hills, and there's flowers everywhere, and, and green grass. And the contrast over here, you see, is just... It's kind of a bad town. Oh, you saw the spoiler. Uh, but it's kind of a bad town, you know? There's 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 blocks missing all over. So, I kind of like that contrast, because, you know, Vikings are usually not the greatest people, and uh, the villagers are the ones that would you would expect to have a nice area to live in. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's the contrast. That's a little bit of the behind the scenes of the series. Anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoy the last episode of Quest for Adventure, episode four. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to say goodbye. I'm just gonna keep talking and the end slate is gonna come on. Goodbye. I hope you're still watching.